Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. First of all, it's important for us all to know that death will reach us all. And all of us should spend our time in righteousness, striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and being aware and conscious that this life is temporary. And jazallah khairan to our brother Abbas Abu Yahya, hafizullah ta'ala, in his translation of our Shaykh, Shaykh Abdul Masan al Abad, al Lama, Muhaddith, of some beneficial treasures regarding the explanation of a few ayats in the Quran dealing with death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Fi kitabih al-kareem Qal Wama ja'alna Wama ja'alna li basharim min kablika al-khulud Afa in mitta fuhum al-khalidun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabih al-kareem and we granted not to any human being immortality before you, meaning this was addressed to the Prophet ﷺ. Then if you die, would they live forever? Shaykh Abdul Masan al Abad, Hafidullah Ta'ala says, The noble ayat, or this noble ayat, indicates that the passage of a human, or that the, a human being is, will pass away. And that Allah did not make it such that anyone could live for eternity before the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So eternity is not for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or for anyone else to remain. But rather everyone is moving towards passing away. As Allah the Almighty said, كُلُّ مِنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَبَقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem in surah al-Rahman qal whatsoever is on the earth will perish and the face of your Lord full of majesty and honor will abide forever some of the people of knowledge said the mushrikun used to reject the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's prophethood alayhi salatu wasalam and they would say Muhammad is a poet we await for him some calamity after some time and perhaps he will die just like such and such poet died from such and such tribe. So Allah Ta'ala mentioned that indeed prophets before you died and Allah has power over his religion with victory and protection. This is how the deen and the sharia of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is protected. With this ayat it indicates that al-khidr has indeed died, whether he was a wali, a friend of Allah Azza wa Jal, or a prophet, or a messenger, because he was a human being, and he was present at the time of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And Allah Azza wa Jal had indeed said, وَمَا جَعَلْنَا لِبَشْرٍ مِّن قَبْلِكَ خُلُدٍ And we granted not to any human being immortality before you. So this lets us know the importance of preparing for that day and being aware and wise and know that this life is not permanent. This life is temporary. And our place in here in this life is temporary. So we're moving through this life as if we're travelers. So prepare, prepare your provisions for the end of your travel. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and accept our fasting during this holy month of Ramadan as today is the last day or perhaps tomorrow. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere with a joyous Eid occasion and bless us all to come back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.